Alrighty. We'll go ahead and get started again. I think today I'll just kind of head towards the left over here and start doing some more down here. Let's get some music going first. All right, so we stopped over here last time. I think maybe, let's do, we'll do the lower, we'll complete the lower outline of here, maybe. And then start doing this and doing some of this. Sometimes it's not easy to know which way to go, but we'll just go on ahead. Okay. All right. Let's take our dark green. There's something different with my computer. I can't quite figure it out. Something is different, but I think it's working well enough. All right, maybe we'll take So we're really starting up here. Let's do some dark green first and kind of just do the lower lower edge of that. Okay. Come right off of here. It's actually kind of soft at first, and then it kind of gets darker. You might notice we're doing the lower edge of that thing, not the top sharp edge, which is over here. Okay. Okay, and then it kind of sharpens up out here. Okay, let's do it. Got off to a slow start today. Kind of comes down a little bit like that. And it kind of turns in that direction. And then over here, we could start using the, maybe the black. Actually, let me, well, no, this is fine. All right, we'll just come down over here. Just above that point. Okay. The most awkward movement right there is right to left for me. back to the dark green. Okay, I think right there we'll stop for now. Now let's go back over here and we're going to fill in all this color down here. Okay, I think the first thing we're going to do is once again maybe do I think we'll start with this. The darker olive greenish color. Okay, let's go. This area down here. Comes up this way. It's actually almost black in that spot, but we'll come back. Okay. 
Look at that. All right, we're just gonna do the background. It's actually supposed to be very soft right here. And this actually is a good color for that. Kind of come in here. Now let's just kind of soften this up. Soften this border, but making sure to cover everything. So get rid of the grid line since we don't need them, even though we could just run right over them. Just fill in this whole area kind of on the outside. On the inside, we'll go to that lighter olive green. Trying to avoid touching too much, but like I said, I didn't prepare the paper quite the way I should have so kind of suffering for being lazy. Okay, let's do the lighter. In the middle. Now, I'm sure you can tell right now, this area, this entire area I'm demarcating here is supposed to be darker than all this, and it will be. We just gotta do our background colors first. Okay. Let's take this real pretty bright green one. Kind of put in that center. All right, let's vacuum up that mess. darken the edges quite a bit with this black well not that much but just some we gotta Just a little bit in here, not too much. I would like maybe add some of this dark green in here. I think we put that in those other spots and we'll just do the same as we did before. Alright, let's smudge this in first and then we're going to come back over with some fair amount of black because this whole area needs to be dark. All 
All right, let's. Darken this whole thing. And as you can see, that is going to be hard to clean for later smudging tonight. So we got to be careful. Okay, I think we accomplished something there. As long as you accomplish something, <laughs> you're making some kind of progress. If we can maybe just soften up this a bit up in here. We need to darken just the left and right edge of this thing just oh, it's just kind of there's this sort of little thing that kind of comes in here Kind of goes like this. Okay, and we'll just smudge that in just a little bit. All right. I think uh, it's probably the contrast between here and here is exaggerated slightly, but. We can make this a little darker later, but that's okay for now. So now we've got this little, let's, okay. Let's just keep going to the left here. So we'll just do the outline of this kind of triangle shape. Let's see if we can get something to, uh, I don't want to put any tape on it, but I really need to hold this edge down. It's aggravating. Hmm. All right, let's just try to deal with it for now. Let's, uh, let's, all right, let's just do in this, well, let's get rid of these grid lines. First thing we'll do on this one is this background of light green on. And I think it's pretty obvious that this is not quite the quality of green we're looking for, but we will go over it with the right one. I mean, I can't stress enough how often it is that I am 
just kind of guessing as I go. All right, let's use this green chalk and just kind of go back over this. I think that looks a little better. Let's vacuum some of that. Okay. Smudge it in. Want to avoid that black. Hmm. Let's see. Don't feel like that's quite right. I feel like we need to do, we need to brighten it and then darken it. So I mean, let's vacuum up this. And I think everything, hmm, looks like I had a green that was hiding over there that might have been useful. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we'll darken it even a little more with this darker green. You could see if you look hard that we're having trouble getting color sticking because we sort of effaced the paper. That's what happens when you go over something too much. It's a vacuum. Smudge this in. All right, let's darken it. Just take a little black, darken the whole area, and I mean, it needs to be slight, can't be too much. I actually kind of think that sort of worked. But I think now we kind of need to soften this edge a little bit by darkening this area and then kind of smudge that border. It's kind of like this. There we go. All right, now down here, we're just gonna come around. We're gonna come beneath here, mostly black with a I mean, it's really got this the most minimal amount of green in there. I'm not quite sure. Let's just do dark green along here, and then we'll really blacken blacken it on top of that. We can hopefully finally one day get off the bottom edge of this drawing. Let's just put this in. And we'll put black on top of this.
All right, let's vacuum all that. And that's done. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So we're really going to have to kind of pay attention to this huge broad area. But I don't think we need to do that quite yet. We're just going to make this mostly black with a little green and be done with it for now. Okay, just put the black on top. Let's vacuum that. All right, we need to soften that edge over here. Let's try and use this to do that just a little bit. Let's see something here. Just brighten this triangle up just the slightest amount. Soften the edges. All Okay, so let's kind of do a little bit of darken right in here. All right, I feel like we struggled on this spot. I don't know why, but that's okay. Okay, let us move back up here all right i 
I guess we should start right here. We kind of calm down from right to left into this area. And this is definitely going to be tricky, but all right. Okay, so we're gonna, right here, first thing we'll do, actually let's draw in the border of this thing. Get the seat a little closer to the paper. Okay. Let's just take, well actually let's sharpen this dark green. Focus in on Okay, let's first do a dark olive color. We're gonna just fill in this little mm, let's sharpen that. See let's sharpen several pencils. <clears throat> surprised how long pencils can last before you have to sharpen them all right so we've got this sort of sort of little wedge on the underside of this thing kind of comes this way kind of just disappears right there and then there's a little thin Let's take the black, just kind of real softly, kind of just come up this way. Kind of like this. Change the color back. Got this real soft sort of edge on this left side of this. Okay, now we'll have this little light stripe. We're just gonna leave blank for now. So, okay. Get rid of these grid lines. Tell you, this is gonna be tough staying uh Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our lighter actually our lightest 
green and just kind of do the outside of here even though this is definitely not the shade we want we're gonna whiten it as always and this kind of it's almost like there's a splotchiness okay so on the inside of that let's do the lighter olive color we got just kind of crash into that color And let's take this darker one and go on the inside of all of that. And of course you can see we've got a lot of black on the inside of this that we're going to shade in. Okay. Let's clean up some of this dust. Now, something we want to do this. This contour you see on the bottom of this leaf. We're really going to want to maintain this dark and then light and then dark again. We got to get that right. Otherwise, it'll be all for naught. Okay. All right, now let's get our black in there. And I think the easiest way to do it is gonna be to kind of overlay it with the pencil rather than using the chalk. Get a little easier. And then of course we're gonna kind of smudge all this. Kind of going from left to right, I would say, would be the best way to do this. some of this to cover up the white. smudge some of this in and just see what we get hmm let's put some of this green in here see
Okay, let's get a little more black on this left side. And let's just pull it from left to right like this. take our white pencil and we are going to go over this line and of course as you can it's not a white we're looking for it's more like a very very light green let's put our light green on top of that and then go back over it with the white Let's go back over it with the white. Okay, that I would say looks a little better. Kind of distorted in the camera from that angle. <laughs> best thing to do right now is let's see probably fill in this color up along here let's kind of go zoom out a bit okay let's let's see Okay, we're going to put in the lower border of this, of the actual flower now. Okay. Let's draw that in with this dark olive color first. We went off. Camera just a bit there, that's okay. Let's make sure we didn't mess up anything.
See, we do have to be careful here. Messing up the grid lines, losing your spot because you will regret it down the road. That is for sure. All right. I think we need to fill in this whole area and we're just going to put in this very, very light kind of hint of where the brown kind of starts and stops. And I would say right here is where we're starting with it coming down about three of them coming down about three squares to here and then just kind of coming this way and then it doesn't have matter where it starts and stops with it. It doesn't really matter. We just kind of want to have an idea. So I would say Okay, I think we're good. All right, all the great lines are gone. We're about to be gone. Vacuum up all of that eraser dust. this little bitty hint of a kind of black stripe starting right here and just kind of coming down to here so let's just kind of put that in it's really not important but we'll just put it in anyway and give us an idea of where we're going Okay, now, let's fill in this area right underneath here, this sort of lighter green, so just a little wedge.
Alright. Alright, let's get the dark green going as it did before. Follow this edge. Okay, let's go. Let's fill in a lot of this with this one. That's the color we used the last time. A lot of, cover a lot of area today. Okay, well, let's kind of go up in here. So I want to kind of keep moving in this direction as much as possible. with our dark uh, olive color. Because it kind of trances and transitions into this sort of brownish shade. Let's see. Although I call it brown, it almost, it's really just this olive, but let's just put this background. We'll go back over it with green. We'll keep doing it until it looks right. Put some of this green on top of that. Okay, a lot of vacuuming to do. Mm. 
Alright, let's smudge all this in. Just kind of see where we're at. Pretty obvious at this point we are going to need more of the brownish tinge and the whole thing is going to have to be darker and that is not a problem at all. It will not be hard to do that. Let's put in, let's see, let's put, mm, well, let's just try this and see what happens. Whoops. Alright, let's let's back him. this in real deep now cover that white real deep in there Okay. All right, first thing, I'm gonna kind of just accentuate this darker stripe just a little bit. It'll smudge out. It will smudge out, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's save this olive. Just kind of complete some of these areas that aren't quite right. <clears throat> Not sure what we accomplished there. get some black we need the whole thing to be darker we're gonna use a chalk we're just gonna smudge our finger onto it and really darken all of this starting down here and coming up
We can erase that right there, it's not a problem. Get a little more. Let's go back to this one. Let's kind of sharpen this transition right under here. A little more black needed under here. Okay, surprisingly, I think we actually did accomplish something here. We'll see how it looks later. The thing about doing this type of drawing is you focus on so many areas and then hope somehow the whole thing comes together. Let's just do one thing here. Let's vacuum some of that. Using a clean finger, try to smudge that in just a bit. All right, we'll just stop there for now. See if we can get a zoom out on everything we have.
All right. Next time.